So in this video, I will talk about a normal boundary intersection. And we are here, normal boundary intersection. It is a kind of mathematical programming and it's a posterior. Posterior methods are those methods which uh, we don't have any preferences at first. And uh, that's why it is much better than goal programming or utility method or any other method which are priori. Because pri priori method, you miss some points on the Pareto optimal set because, uh, because uh, for example, in polynomial goal programming, a kind of goal programming, you are missing because you are shaping your manifold. Uh, and um, in that case, case you, you you will miss you will miss uh, many uh, Pareto optimal points but uh, in posteriori our goal is to find all points we don't want to miss any Pareto uh, uh, optimal point and uh, we cover all of them and uh, so normal boundary intersection it's an old idea it's about 1998 1998 and uh, but it is a way to extend the idea of Pascoletti Serafini. They are equivalent, you know. The, here we are doing maximization. In there, in Pascoletti, we are doing minimization, uh, and there are very, very uh, a lot of similarities between them. And uh, so, but it has a very great geometric intuition. <clears throat> and so the problem is as before, we have talked about domination, that for example, when one is dominated at the other point, and for example, when we cannot find Pareto improvement, uh, then that's on the uh, Pareto optimal set or efficient set, <clears throat> uh, like here. We are on the Pareto set. So shadow minimum or utopia point, many people say utopia, but in this article, it says shadow point. Both of them are relevant. Both of them <coughs> are equal. And utopian point is here. So regardless of F2, we minimize F1. Regardless of F1, we minimize F2. And the coordinates, for we put the coordinates, we have a vector here. And so we have the utopian point. So before I begin, I need to uh, just remind you the convex hull. And uh, for example, in 3D, you, you will see a convex hull like this. So the convex hull or convex envelope or convex closure of a shape is the smallest convex set that contains it. So convex hull of individual minima, C-H-I-M, uh, so let X bar be a respective global minimizer. So F of X bar for each of them, uh, these are the coordinates of them. So matrix phi, matrix phi, the, I mean the, the columns of that, the, the columns of matrix phi are just F I star minus F, uh, F star. And these are the columns of, um, uh, F, uh, phi. So we are just trying to uh, some kind of parameterizing uh, uh, the hyperplane that we, we talked in our previous lectures, a kind of hyperplane, but we are systematically parameterizing it uh, using um, uh, the, the minimal solution of uh, individual points. So could, could the convex hull, and we also have a, a CHI infinity to be the, the affine subspace of lowest dimension that contains the CHIM. But because CHIM is not an, is not an affine space, subspace, that's why we try to find the lowest, uh, because we need that to, to understand the direction that is emanating from uh, the CHIM2 to the uh, um, origin. Uh, and uh, so the boundary, you can understand the boundary as well. 
So, uh, so the article um, uh, assumes that we can always uh, change the coordinate so that the motivation of doing this change of coordinate is that we can simply put uh, the origin at zero, the reference at zero, so that all the calculations are... So without loss of generality, we can, we can, do, this, we can do this kind of analysis. And so uh, remember that from now on our f is just a shifted one and uh, we do this transformation as we do in any area such as control theory or economics or finance to make it more uh, e e easy, to make it easier to um, uh, work on this problem. Uh, so you see it as a natural uh, idea. So uh, the intersection point between the boundary and the normal point toward the origin emanating from the point emanating from from this area and the CHIM uh, going to to the uh, uh, origin uh, and uh, so uh, the intersection you we, we are interested in the intersection of that and the boundary you know all of these is boundary all of them are the boundary but the intersection with this line is, is just these two points and uh, uh, with these with these um, directions that are emanating from chm so for all of them uh, we can find those pareto pareto optimal points so this is the idea. So intersection of uh, your CHIM uh, with the in intersection of the boundary and the normal points that are, so these are normal points. These are the directions. Uh, so we, if we, for any intersection, we have a point on the efficient, on the efficient set. And these points are Pareto optimal. For example, here, if we if we go here, go here, and then intersect it, uh, we have a Pareto Pareto point. If we go in the direction of normal and intersect with the boundary is here, when the boundary is here. If we go here, intersect with the boundary is here. But we, we are missing this as well. So this is not a good example because it's not convex. If we go here, we go here, intersect with the boundary, it's here. Uh, we, we, may, we may miss a better point such as this one. So it's, it's another example that, is, that does not work, that this method does not work. If we go and intersect these uh, directions with the boundary, we have this one. Fortunately, for example, here we have a good idea, good uh, example. Here we intersected. So for all of them, uh, we have an intersection. And we can find all the points, except a few exceptions. And uh, <clears throat> we solve uh, for various beta. And uh, so... So our problem is like maximization as we do in, uh, for example, in shortage function in the ID in the method of uh, Professor Chris Kirsten's. Uh, when he defines a shortage function, uh, he wants to maximize delta, and here, for example, we are to we want to maximize t, such that. These constraint, feasibility constraint holds, but uh, remember that uh, we we said what phi is. Phi, phi is the uh, the columns of phi are uh, f minus f i star, and so after shifting it, so if this is the shifted f, not the original one. And we can also um, use B because the sum of beta should be one uh, to cover all of the hull, convex hull that we are talking about. We want to find all of the points on the Pareto optimal and, and make it make sure that diversity uh, is satisfied as well. So, for example, if uh, 14 plus 0 plus uh, point, uh, point 0.6 is 1. Another one, point six, 
plus uh, 0.4, uh, 0.4, 0.4 plus 0.4 plus 0.2 is 1. So this is satisfied as well because for each of them, we should do a minimization, optimization problem. So we can do it in a parallel way in software engineering and uh, we have a problem if it is folded we have a folded boundary and for example i said that emanating from chim emanating from chim until it reaches the boundary but we are missing the better point we are missing this one so it's not a good idea and also many local uh, minima what if uh, you have uh, sinusoid functions for individual regardless of other objective functions so we have many objective uh, many uh, local points so it, it 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 will become a lot more complex and uh, you cannot find all parts of the efficient frontier you, know, you have many local minima in the components and uh, of course, it could be much more uh, complex, and then um, so uh, we want to talk about a relation between linear weighted and normal boundary intersection as well. As you see, you can write the uh, linear weighted uh, approach here and use the KKT conditions, and you will notice that if you just put these special weights then uh, both of them are equivalent. I mean, it is very easy to, uh, to prove the claim uh, that they are equivalent. Uh, 